shall be doing exercise 14. Let's do exercise 14 that my in the seventh edition is on page 195. Exercise 14. Let's read the, 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 the problem. You are managing a product upgrade project for Bangkok Bangkok Kagogo. Don't me ask what is that because I don't know, okay? But that's written here. Given the project network that follows, complete the forward path and backward path. Compute activity slack and identify the critical path. Use this information to create a Gantt chart for the project. Be sure to show slack, slack for non-critical activities. So in the book, you have a table on the bottom. Can you see the table on the bottom of the axis? So first, we'll be computing the network, then we'll be transferring the dates to the Gantt chart. That's the problem. Let's start the, the, the computation. Zero, so you have zero plus one, one. Then take one in the forward path, we move that to the following, the next activities. Then we compute, so we find the early start for activity B and activity C. One plus five, six, one plus three, four. Now, to start to co compute the times for activity D, we need to consider six that is coming from activity B and four that's coming from activity C. We should, because it's a forward path, we should take the highest number. So we go from, we have to take six, then six plus two, eight. And now we move eight for the to the next activities. And you have eight plus four, 12, 8 plus 2, 10. And then we move 10 for the fall activities of, and we move in 12 to activity G. 12 plus 3, 12 plus 3, 15. For activity H, 10 plus 1, 11. 10 plus 5, 15. Now we have three, three conditions. We, 15, yes, exactly. Go 15 plus 3, 18. Okay? That is the forward path. The forward path provides the project duration, the early start and early finish for each activity. Now let's move. Once you do the forward path, we can do the backward path. And now the backward path, we go from 18 and start subtracting the duration. 18 minus 3, 15. And then I move 15 to the predecessors. And I started computing. 15 minus 1, 14. 15 minus 5, 10. And then I move backward. 15 minus 3, 12. I move 12 to the activity E, from activity G to activity E. Here I have two numbers. So 14 and 10 here. Which one should I pick? In the backward path, we should pick the lower number okay pick the lower number and start computing 12 so f is okay 10 minus 2 8 14 minus 4 8 and now we have two eights so should be 8 8 minus 2 6 and i move 6 here and here for activity b will be 6 minus 5 1 6 minus 3 3 and now we have 3 and 1 because it's a backward path we should pick the lowest number, one and zero. I have to compute the activity slack. Uh, here we have zero for activity A. The slack is late, uh, late start minus early start, zero here. Two for activity C, zero for activity D, zero for activity F, zero for activity E, zero for activity G, four for activity H, zero, zero. So, so those are the like. Then there is another part of the question that asks us to identify the critical path. The critical path is the path in which the activities doesn't have any slack. And here we have one path here, no slack. But as well, we have another, another critical path. So you have two critical paths. Actually, it can be more than one because if you can go here and combine, you have multiple critical path in the exercise 14. Is that okay? 
that is I select on the second. Oh yeah, there is one path here that goes for H that it's not on the critical path. So activity H and active. Oh, sorry. Actually, you know, you know that. That was intentional. Do you know that? Okay, do you know that? That was intentional. Don't worry, okay? That was intentional. Another one. A, B, G, F, I, J. Second critical path. Let's now draw the gun chart. In the book, you have a table like this. Can you see? And we'll be drawing the gun chart on the table. First thing that I would like you to, that you, that's very important to realize. Can you see that the numbers, the numbers, they are on the top of the line, not in the middle of the square? Can you see that? Can you see that? So that's very important, okay? We have to put the lines on the top and we need to start on the top of the line, not in the middle of the square. And we have to start, the first line is line zero. It's not on the book, must be line zero, okay? I just add the zero of the line. What I mean by top of the line, everyone should understand that, okay? That is the top of the line. It's not in the middle of the square. That's very important. So how we draw a gun chart? First, you have to do a, a table like this. Okay, a table like this. Then will be, I don't know how to call that, to be shadowing or painting, the squares referent to the uh, times. And each square here is one day. Each square here is one day. So this is the this is the gun chart. Can you see? So what we just did, we went to the network, we compute the times. After computing the times, we transfer the early start and the early finish to the gun chart. And that is the gun chart. That is the gun chart. That is the project schedule. We work hard to help you to get better marks, be prepared for job interviews, and excel in work meetings. You can send your questions in the comment area below. I will be pleased to answer all of them. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe Americo eLearning.